All right, welcome. We'd like to talk about uh, a recent move for Setco. We've uh, relocated to Hebron, Kentucky here in March of 2023. We're very excited about our new headquarters. Uh, we'd been in our previous facility in Cincinnati, Ohio for about the last 60 years. It's a very exciting move for Setco. We have upgraded our facilities. We've expanded our production space by about 25% uh, from previous. We've also invested in additional equipment, which is going to offer us best in class service, faster turnarounds for customers, and also future growth as we look to grow the company over the coming you know, years. The, uh, the facility we moved in in the spring of 2023, it's over 70,000 square feet of manufacturing space, state of the art. We have over 20 CNC precision machines with seven of those being CNC precision grinders. Today Setco is a global company producing spindles, milling heads, slides, precision components and these are used again in industries ranging from automotive to aerospace and all affiliated industries um, they're in manufacturing. Setco also has spindle repair services and we're global in our spindle repairs. We have operations headquartered in the U.S. We have five facilities abroad including Taiwan, China, and we have three facilities as well in India with uh, emphasis on spindle repair but also include spindle manufacturing as well in both our Taiwan and our Pune India plant. We pride ourselves on our experience and our engineering depth, not only our engineering depth here in the U.S., but globally as well. We also have new product engineers in Taiwan and new product engineers in India to support our global business. Um, most of the market share for the new products is related to uh, machine tool OEM manufacturers and producing spindles, milling heads, and other parts for their manufacturing needs. But we also have a lot of custom engineering which go into custom projects which can be one-offs, can be uh, production line type systems, and other things as well that we get into related to custom engineering. Let's take a moment here and let's talk a little bit about Setco's service business and the customer bases that we serve and support. Um, traditionally, and the majority of the customer base is driven around automotive, whether that be direct automotive or tiered suppliers. Uh, secondarily, we do a lot of aerospace business, again, direct and tiered suppliers. After that, you'll get into machine tool OEMs. Uh, we're silent partners for a lot of machine tool OEMs. We, we service uh, virtually all makes and models of spindles that are, are out there uh, in the world today for the most part. Um, that includes over 350 brands of spindles. Um, so it's not just Setco product that we're rebuilding, uh, we're able to service all brands, all models uh, of spindles for the most part. Um, and uh, that really lends itself to us being a full service provider for, for our customers. Uh, we're not just able to, to focus on you know, a small subset of the machines that they have on their floor. We're able to be a full service provider for all of their machine tool assets by doing that. We have the unique advantage at Seco that we have a lot of technical resources in-house. We have a full engineering staff here in the U.S. We've got manufacturing capabilities here in the U.S. Uh, so that allows us to do some things that our competitors can't do. Uh, and then on top of that, we have a lot of technologies that we've introduced into the marketplace that we can adapt into spindles. Laser cladding is a new technology for Setco where it's actually additive manufacturing. So today, for instance, in our service market, when a, when a customer sends a spindle into us, we disassemble it and we find after inspection that there are areas within the spindle product that need to be refurbished or reworked. And in those cases, the material has to actually be added. In the past, we would have to actually send out to a third party resource to do chrome plating, to do welding, et cetera, which a lot of times will lead to longer delays in the repair process. Today, we have laser clay and equipment in our own factory here at Setco headquarters in Hebron to where we now can control that process. So we now can do the additive material process same day that we receive the product in if necessary, which will also allow us to rework it quicker and be able to get the product back to our customer in a much faster time frame. You know, for Setco, uh, we, we never look at ourselves as a short-term vendor. We look at ourselves as a long-term vendor. We have 
current customer of ours, uh, you know, large automotive, large, large aerospace that you know, we've been working with for 30, 40, and 50 plus years at this point. Setco is not a generation company. Setco is a generational corporation where we're looking to how do we continue this business and to serve our customers for the foreseeable future, again, whether that's 10, 25, 50, or even 100 years.